Kermit, Kermit, Kermit. Used to be good. What happened to you? Seriously, though, why does the blue frog want us to bring him five Kermits in the first place? Like, what does the blue frog do to them? Madman. You're a madman. Earth and water. Well, you'll find plenty of both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! So, this will be the first time I ever made a video on a game. And I never thought it'd be a Roblox game to start. <laughs> but anyways, I know you're all jumping from excitement to begin. So let's start. For this farming method, here are some things to know to be sure you know what you are doing. Rather than looking like a chicken running around with its head cut off. Fantastic Frontier is a big place, and due to the fact that there is a thick fog that will only see two feet in front of you, that causes checking the map to be difficult. The only indicators that help you know where you are going and where you are is the name indicators that appear when you enter a different section of the map, and a compass at the top of the screen. But thankfully, someone in the community made a fan-made map of the frontier and even named off each area for us. I will post a link in the description so you can see the map in full detail. I recommend you use the map along with the compass and the name indicators to learn about the map. Next is your gear. Because I'll admit it, some of you look... eh... underprepared for this. The reason why you would need gear is because some of the frog spawn locations are a little too high to reach for any normal player. So this is the gear I recommend for helping you obtain the frogs. The Jump Boots To obtain the Jump Boots, you have to find Ronald Izzy Jackson. The video to the left will show you the way. Once you find him, talk to him. He will give you the Jump Boots in trade for 50,000 gold. I recommend new players to buy these boots, for they will assist in dodging attacks and getting over the rough terrain of the frontier with a bit more ease and also give the player some of the jump boots they require to reach some of the frogs. The Mushroom Parasol To obtain this useful parasol, there are two methods of doing it. One is by finding and defeating the Mushroom Head. The Mushroom Head is an enemy that will appear in multiple areas of the game. Once defeated, it has a low chance of dropping the parasol with it. The other method is by going to the No Magic School in Topple Town and talking to the Flashy Gnome Merchant. He offers the parasol for 250,000 gold. The Spider Stilts. To obtain them, you have to head north from Topple Town until you'll get to Black Rock Mountain. Go to the north face of Black Rock Mountain and you will find a giant cave entrance there. That is known as the Spider's Nest. Head inside the nest and drop down to fight the Spider Boss. Just be sure not to die. <laughs> The spider boss has a low chance of dropping the stilts, but is the fastest footwear in the game next to the jump boots and power boots. I recommend going to attempt at obtaining the spider stilts when you purchase your first magic spellbook. There are also the options for using the wings or the spring twig armor, but I won't cover those in this tutorial. But I'll just be wearing the spring twig armor, spider stilts, and mushroom parasol because I prefer that setup for scouting the map. Now for the Grateful Frog spawn system and how it works. In the game, there is only one Grateful Frog in the map at a time. You can never find two at once. So if you find that one frog and collect it, a new one will spawn in a few minutes later at any of the frog spawns. The frog will not despawn or disappear after it has spawned. It will stay at the spot it spawned at until it is found. In short, once you find one frog and get it, a new one will spawn soon after.
And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the frog spawn locations. I'm sure by now that you all are just like, Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Yeah! This will be the more lengthy section of the tutorial, and if all these locations are too much to take in all at once, don't worry. I'll link the Fantastic Frontier fan wiki page that talks about the frog spawn locations. Now, without further ado, here's my frog spawn montage.
pictures into the mind by the flashing in my eyes. Time to see my condition. The nation is gone right again. Can't you see now? Illusions right into your mind. Deja vu. I just been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Calling you, and the search is a mystery. Standing on my feet, it's so hard when I try. Well, that's all for now, I guess. Well, uh, I've never done an outro before, so I'll just... Memes.